All right, so these metal cloaks, Harley brought me over here because this thing right here, I don't know if you can see, fits really, 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 really tight. Now, he had it positioned to where there was about a six, oh, I know this is horrible. It's not focusing very well, is it, guys? Um, he had it to where it was about an eighth, sixteenth or eighth of an inch, but guys, that's not enough room. That's not, you know, even though it'd probably be fine for uh, uh, normal driving, if once you get climbing and you're you're getting that engine moving back and forth, and mind you, this is a manual, so yeah, we got to move this. Uh, we have tried every different configuration. <clears throat> We've tried every type of uh, moving that around. Hey, let me adjust this here. Yeah. <laughs> what do you look at that? Hey, we even go more. Hey, whoa. Um, uh, yeah, so metal cloak. This is not fitting too hot. So what we're going to do, we're going to attempt to move that motor over to this side. Let's see if that works. So... I'll let you know how it works. Yeah. Okay, so uh, I showed you where that was getting really close to the power steering pump. Um, what's the most gap that you had? You never had over an eighth, did you? No, I think it was right on an eighth. Yeah, we moved and moved and moved, tried to figure out a different configuration. I gave him the option. I said, so see this thing right here? It actually has two pumps. So for each uh, windshield washer, two pumps. Um, so this is the one that was primarily giving us issues. This one's gone now. No, actually, we took it out and we're going to relocate it. Now, I actually have a plastic, um, welding tool or whatever that welds nylon. And that's pretty much what this is, but we don't have no nylon. I actually have nylon rods, but it's too big a hole. So what I've came up with is I went up to Home Depot and picked up some. These are actually for electro, electrical box. These are knockout fillers. And, and yes, I know metal, nylon, that all expands different. different. But since washing fluid is always going to be in here, it should stay pretty close to the same size. size. Um, what I really would like to do is put this on the inside, but I don't think we're going to be able to. I had to open it up a little bit. This measured 920 thousandths. Um, this measures like inch. I forget what it is. So I had to open it up a little bit with the bit. And I got it right now to the point that it's ready to go in. It's about ready to pop in, but you want to seal it. Now what we don't know is whether or not to use silicone or JB Weld. Uh, I've had really good luck with JB Weld sealing oil pans, diff covers, uh, anything like that. But, I mean, it says it'll work on plastic. But this will allow a little bit of flex. I kind of think we're leaning towards this, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to try this. Not only this, this is actually gutter silicone. And so where this differs is, I, I just thought about it. I was like, you know what? You know that silicone that we've had to take apart on gutters that's rock hard and sticks so hard? So that's right. actually what we're going to try. It never leaks either. It doesn't. It doesn't. So we're going to try this out. All right, ready? Mm -hmm. um, let's clean that up with some acetone and let's get this clean around here. All right, so no acetone right here, but uh, actually I just took some uh, urethane reducer. By the way, going in there and cleaning this up really good. Really good. Uh, one thing I wanted to tell you, I mean, from our experience, the silicone or the gutter sealant, the, the reason why we were leaning towards um, uh, silicone or that type of sealant over JB Weld 
is plastics, nylon or whatever, expands and contracts a little bit. The steel, virtually nothing. So if you do have a silicone, gives you just that little bit of um, movement there. Like I said, you guys are probably laughing. And we're going to tell you if it works. Because right now, the way Metal Cloak has this sold, it's not working for him. I think I opened this. Okay, so I used a three-quarter knockout. And I think I opened it up to... Inch 40 thousandths. Yeah. Yeah. Like, what are you doing? You're rustling. Nah, I want to make sure this is really clean. Okay, so this is good stuff. It's thick. Really thick, thick, thick. I'm back. Oh, man. You know what would even be better? Is if um, uh, this was warm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, I got some on me. You you got it on you too. Mm -hmm. All right. So there it is, right there. We're gonna try to push this thing down. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, you know, every once in a while in your life when you do something really really special and you look back and you're like this is gonna work guarantee it and it looks freaking awesome i'm gonna put a thin layer it right there? so it's uh, oh, it's, it's some out. it's some mold mark here give it to me so if you're on a metal guys pit. this is gonna work I can I can already tell the way it popped in. Mm -hmm. Trying a thick bead around there, we'll be good. Trust the science. Mm -hmm. I felt stupid saying that. Yeah. <laughs> we understand that this video is not going to be relevant to a whole lot of people. However. It's going to be relevant to a uh, person with metal cloak. Fenders where it's hit, the power steering, power steering pumps hitting the washer. I don't know if you can see inside there, but what we're gonna do, that's, that's what that looks like here. Let me try to get it to, there we go. Let's focus there now. Um, that's that knockout, uh, pl plug so i mean we already got the silicone here and we are going to take a little bit of yes, silicone and work it around the edges here give it to me it's too wide or mm -hmm. so i had him cut a paint stick down and i'm gonna go in there and work it around the edges put a little layer of this wherever it went Oh, um, yeah, and I think it's gonna work really excellent. That's no good. And then, yeah. So I'm not. So what I'm doing with um, let me show them the back side of these. So this uh, knockout right there, see that? Yeah. So by the time that that gutter, the silicone Harley is feeding it on the bottom of it. By the time that that. Um, this gets pushed into the, I don't know what it, what it, you want to call them, the extensions or the, the locking portion, the tabs. Um, so I'm, I'm spreading it a little bit wider, plus I'm pushing it into those locking tabs and it's going to be pretty, I think it's going to work. Um, so that's sealed up right there. Looks like it's gonna work good. Water tested it. Uh, the that right there originally measured 920 thousandths. That's how I measured it. For those who don't know what that is, you actually need one of them. 
if you're going to be four by four in a lot and doing work yourself, get get yourself a micrometer, dowel caliper, all the good stuff. Uh, we're going to pop it on this side. There's plenty of room right here for the other one. What I've chose to use is this Irwin auger. Um, one thing I'm thinking that's going to work good with this. See the see the sharp teeth right there that protrude past the cutters. I think that's gonna work good in this all. Um, <laughs> here, I'm not sure, but you guys are gonna watch, see how well it works. Here we go. All right, so what I'm gonna do, yeah, see, I'm actually gonna run this backwards. I did, I did turn it to run it ahead forward just a little bit and it did exactly what I thought. Um, so I spun it around and it went through perfect running it backwards. Let me see what we got right there. Hey, would you look at that? Almost as if that's a 7 8 bit. It measures uh, 882. Um, it's, you know, 7 8 is uh, 875. Now, a carpenter shouldn't know those, but this happened to be before I became a general contractor. Did a lot of automotive. That was my thing. All right. Bam. Perfect. Yeah, I like it. But this thing works. It's got it filled up there. You can see, you know, let me give you a little bit more light. Yeah, that's probably not the best. But look at the clearance we got down through there now. Yeah, plenty of clearance and this is where the motor ended up being over here see that works yep he's about ready you can see all the air ARB lines right there he's got to throw his pump in right there other than that uh, this is a lot better setup because what they had going on before it sat in there sorry for the shakiness I had to adjust it um, what we had going on before just was not working with it touching the power steering pump so hopefully you guys enjoyed